What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. So on the last Market Watch, some of you guys were confused on what I meant by Tenyi more as an engine than as a deck, and it's being teched for removal. And two of the top three selling cards in Rising Rampage really tell this story. And if you're picking up these super cheap removal pieces, use my link in the description down below for TCG Player Smile. That being said, I'll explain it real quick. Tenyi Spirit Vishuda allows you to just special summon itself out, and then you link up into Monk of the Tenyi. And that's the reason these are two very well selling cards. So Vishuda reads that if you control no effect monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. So you can just start your turn this way, or if you're going second, you've summoned Panker Tops, you force something, then you summon this. You then link summon it up into your monk, and you now control a non-effect monster. And if you control a non-effect monster, you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard, so where it's lying, then target one card your opponent controls and return it to the hand. It's really cool that it's completely generic one card. You can force back row, you can force monsters, making this very generically good and thus fitting into the metagame and splashing in. So with dinosaurs, it's an amazing way to force your opponent's cards before summoning an Overraptor or, you know, committing even bigger cards like Tyranno, just being able to take care of cards and also get a Link piece on board for later is really freaking good. That being said, let's jump further into today's Market Watch because it is pretty notable that these are two of the best three selling cards from the set. <sighs> You guys keep messaging me about Double Evolution Pill, like, getting a reprint. It's been that way for a while, and people were correcting me when I made this as a suggestion. It got, uh, printing as a Speed Duel skill, and I get that's confusing because the names are exactly the same. And just to prevent this wall of messages, because so many of you guys do message me and help me out, telling me about prices or things that changed, or excitedly talking about reprints in case I haven't heard about them, I feel like I'm going to get a similar rush of confusion with Cocoon of Ultra Evolution, which is getting a skill card based on the powerful spell card. I know reading is hard for us Yu-Gi-Oh players, but look, that means that the deflation hype from this, if it does happen, which would be nice, I, I want this price to go down, would be from confusion because we did see Double Evolution Pill dip all the way to like $8.50 from $12 and it's still slowly rebounding up from people thinking it was going to get a reprint. But no, it's a skill and the Ultra Cocoon will be the same thing. So this is just stopping the spread of misinformation before it happens and letting you guys know, hey, hey, I, I, I swear I know what's going on, okay? I swear I actually read whenever it comes to my content smile. Oh man, I really wish this was at a lower price though for you guys. Dragonic Diagram is something I've been suggesting a little bit as True Draco has Ignis Heat getting reprinted very soon, making this actually one of the hardest pieces of the core of True Dracos to grab. Despite its printing between Battles of Legend and Mega Packs, we've seen it bought out before, and I've suggested it several times, and quantities have been slipping down, so this is just something to pay attention to. But I wanted to do kind of a deep dive into the True Draco deck and look around. There can be only one is really getting up there towards 7 freaking dollars and we see 650 on ebay before it's seven from a hey, congratulations on the engagement simply unlucky here at one of the lowest prices and a ton of them at seven dollars so uh, pretty interesting stuff that the the floodgate never got reprinted and has risen up i don't know where it would get reprinted i don't see like dual power really going after floodgates like this necessarily another floodgate for true draco the monarchs erupt is actually at one of its cheaper price points with the uh Structure deck from the Monarchs, having it way, way freaking low. That's pretty nice. And then we see uh, the other commons are up there. So if you're looking for copies of these, maybe be searching out Structure Deck Emperor of Darkness for its variant. And then Solemn Judgment is another expensive one. This is a card I could see lurking in Dual Devastator that hasn't been announced yet. So I might hold off on this a little. Dual Devastator is really chasing after completely generic cards. Konami knows it peeled this off on the list. And uh, man, just watching in duels the battles of Solemn Judgment. Red Reboot, Solemn Judgment, like the craziness that goes down has been really fun on Dueling Books. So looking at like, you know, the cheaper versions being $5 even now, I, I would hope for a reprint, but I also wouldn't hold my breath. That's pure speculation. So ironically, the more expensive pieces of the true Draco deck 
happen to be the other pieces rather than its core engine right now. But again, you need three of these if you are playing the deck, and it's very integral to it. So sooner than later if you want it as a backup deck. I think a lot of people that play this deck already have it, though, that would want it. That being said, when we're looking at cards like Ignis Heat that's getting its reprint, people were telling me, oh, it's only going to have two printings. I think it might be a little harder to get than Diagram. I point you towards something like Mythical Beast Jackal King. Remember how hype that was? Remember how big it was spiking in price? And now we get a Cerberus reprint coming up too, right? Look at how low priced it is, which is great. That's what these side set reprints are supposed to do. But Ignis Heat will share a similar fate despite having less printings than Diagram. Let's not forget at one point Diagram held a price of like 120 freaking dollars early on. So it's it's a little bit more of a legend card than Mythical Beast Jackal King. But I think Ignis Heat will share a similar fate here in terms of quantities and people selling them off relatively fast to get you know part of their pack value back and just get more packs best selling has been a friend of mine today on tcg player i wanted to look through several sets with this and artifact scythe is the best selling card right now from battles of legend heroes revenge followed by their uh tcg player i noted put it as their feature card herald of the arc light whenever they put a feature card up it tends to start selling. It's very interesting. And then for some of the priciest best-selling cards, because usually within sets, pricey cards don't tend to sell in volume. The hero cards are kind of flying off the shelves, taking two slots in this top 10. And Lancey is up there too, along with Summon Limit. Very interesting results. So increase is holding that 5 to $6 range and doing relatively well. But despite selling so much, Ferris actually continues to find itself in somewhat cheap listings but it is going back up towards five very very quickly some people just always want to make that sale the hero engine again i think will be spiking up towards where you see the vision heroes meet the evil heroes no matter what a hero release is going to hype things i know i might sound like a broken record there so my whole point of looking through heroes revenge scythe being the best selling card artifact sanctum the secret rares are cheaper right now they're going down a little bit with motivated sellers quick sales kind of an ironic name there and the ultra rares are really up there maybe people want to match their ultra rare sites i don't know but i would be after these secret rare copies personally right now and we see that they're on ebay in pretty good fashion around eight dollars too use the one that supports the person doing the video smile but seriously get yourself the cheaper one always make sure to take care of yourself first these are like 10 cents cheaper for now but the reason why i'm also highlighting sanctum is it's seen meta play it's seen its way back through format after format and soon we get a reprint of trap trick meaning extra people will be hunting these down and i'm assuming this is in the megatons i'm assuming konami won't turn a blind eye on trap trick for whatever reason but i would highly speculate this to be in the megatons so with sanctum being only eight dollars right now for its secret rare copy i would definitely be after these up through 10 to 12 dollars i would want my set considering what should be coming and what is selling the proof is in the pudding all around us so something to consider getting sooner rather than later once again now going through cyber dragons and talking about the megatons i wanted to see kind of what was expensive out of the core of cyber dragon stuff seager is still doing well hers is still doing well but you have to remember these are likely candidates for the megaton reprints and naster is sitting here with Dupo getting its unlimited printing around $5, I don't think there's going to be a huge coolant for Dupo being a $30 locked MSRP product. Like, you have to pay $30 to try to pack Nashter, and it's hard to pull these. So, I would still get my copies if you're thinking about Cyber Dragon sooner than later. Don't be that person sitting around looking for Cyber Emergency, you know? Like, uh, that, that would be the only other Cyber card that's really up there and i wonder how it's doing yeah it's still around 25 it fluctuates between 20 to 30 pretty regularly but being the harder to get cards means nashra's probably gonna meet that fate and be going on up and i wanted to show what happens after the fallout of hype remember how hype everyone got dark destroyers going up off the limited list it's crazy and uh even with the first eds now they sit pretty dang low this is uh, a mint copy here and man i did not 
expect it to be like this. Like, I expected these really to hold similar to Shadol Construct, but again, they have a structure deck to help pipe them, multiple layers off the ban list to help pipe them. Dark Destroyer, you know, the Cosmos fully ripped off. They didn't do much, and the Nostalgia just doesn't seem to keep them up in terms of buyouts or even the limelight. Cosmojo, remember that being $16.18? Now towards $10. Tin Can, falling back towards its original $5 price before all the hype. And this is awesome to see, but it's just for your own considerations. Hey, whenever a ban list comes out, whenever I'm really hype about something, whenever I see something and I'm like, I gotta have it! Consider the long-term fallout for your money spent. Yes, there's time playing cards. Yes, you might enjoy them with friends. But there will be a point where you perhaps can get them cheaper. And that is something to consider whenever shopping. So, thanks for watching today's Market Watch. There was something funny. Th oh, right. This is one of the funniest listings I've seen in terms of describing Near Mint. First edition clean and he, he he specifies that it is indeed near mint in his listing just work on your listings boys and i promise they will sell that has to be he has five available this has to be what's keeping people from going after it says clean in the title just know your consumers know the market and don't don't put clean in your listing even if it is but thanks for watching today's market watch what did you guys think of everything going on here i know it's been a little more suggestions throughout this one but the tens are coming so that's something to keep in mind and whenever there's a huge tank in value and a uh, people grabbing these new cards they look at what they're for and they're like hey i could use those sanctums with these trap tricks i could use you know nashter with the rest of these cyber dragons you've got to consider what's coming sooner rather than later so thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these kinds of conversations and i'll see you on bonus stream tonight on both youtube and twitch at 7 central